Well, I think we look at uh, a very different economic plan for Iowa's future. Right now, we look at the, the biggest growing item of our general fund being essentially tax credits and exemptions uh, that are costing the, states, uh, the state millions of dollars. That's short-term economic planning. That is, we are becoming the lowest bidder trying to attract employers to our state. What's made Iowa stand out in the past is that most educated, productive, skilled workforce. That's our long-term vision for the state, growing our state by having a quality education system that's producing skilled workers for the next generation and offering a quality of life that has quality employers wanting to come to Iowa. And that starts with infrastructure. I'd rather see us spending money on, on actual projects that help rebuild rural Iowa and get that economy going for long term than giveaways for, for corporations that are here for the short term. Okay, everybody's against giveaways for corporations. I mean, even Republicans are talking about that way. But it's when you get in under the weeds and start looking at a specific list of those. Mm -hmm. Senator, do you want to take away a research and development tax credit to John Deere and company? Well, uh, you know, those are guys that are creating some good jobs. Well, maybe we don't want to do that. Uh, how do, you, how do you go down through that laundry list and pick off those credits that you think are bad? Well, and I think that's, again, part of the long-term plan. I don't think you can shut them off instantly and get, get rid of them, but I think we have to look at how we cap them and what qualify, qualifications we allow for people to get these credits. And I think we have to start saying we want verification that these things are actually turning into jobs. No more we will just send out a check and hope for the best.